Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders where we have the official 53-man roster for the Las Vegas Raiders. They have just announced the players that they will be waiving, and then they also announced the Raiders that they have outright released. In terms of the players that have been waived, David Agoa, Matthew Butler, see you later. McClendon Curtis, see you later. Cole Fotheringham, Jaden Grant, Tyler Hall is no longer a member. Azizi Hearn, Kanai Malga, Sincere McCormick, that one definitely sucks a little bit. Natane Moody, Adam Plant, not going to be a member of this team. John Samuel Schnenker, George Tarlis, Drake Thomas, Sam Webb, Alex Bars, see you later. Keelan Cole, Philip Dorsett, Ronis Grosso, Jaquan Johnson, Isaac Rochelle, Duke Shelley, Cam Sims, Damian Williams, Jordan Willis, also is a member of that. And then Dalton Wagner. Not a member here of this team, which means the Raiders' 53-man roster is officially official. And I'll tell you what, some very eye-popping things from this list, and don't get me wrong, we will break down every single one of the moves that the Raiders decided to do, all the players that they ended up keeping. So this is what I want you all to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, because even though I'm not at the office Chugs and I were live for about seven hours today. I had to come home, take care of the family, the little odds and ends, Chuck and Alex. But I told y'all, when I get the 53-man roster, I'm going to make you a video, and that's exactly what you're going to get here today. All right, so here we go. We're going to start at the quarterbacks. We're going to work our way to the offense, and we're going to go through the defense. And I'll give you my knee-jerk reaction right off the bat because there's one position that stands out to me that the Raiders must be very confident they're going to get some of these players back on the practice squad. Some of the new videos that you're going to see tomorrow, I'm going to get my practice squad projection and then a breakdown of the depth chart once that's released. All right, so the numbers that you're going to hear are me counting out the Raiders players because for whatever reason, the Raiders don't tell you who makes the 53. They only tell you who they're cutting. So the number one player, Jimmy Garoppolo. Number two is Brian Hoyer. At number three, it's Aiden O'Connell. The Raiders have kept three quarterbacks on the roster this upcoming season, which should surprise nobody. At running back, number four is Josh Jacobs. Number five is Amir Abdullah. At six, Zamir White. Number seven, Brandon Bolden. And then at number eight, fullback, Jacob Johnson. So the Raiders are going to be keeping five running backs slash fullbacks this upcoming season. Now the question that I have for everybody that's going to be tuning into this show is, how many games will the Raiders win this upcoming season? I know there's been a lot of voters out there. The over-under set by Vegas right now as it stands is seven and a half. I'm going to bet the over. I believe this is an eight to nine win team that if they get a little bit lucky, could win 10 games or so. So let me know how many games the Raiders are going to win this season. All right, let's now go to the wide receivers because some interesting moves here. I know the Raiders obviously moved on from Keelan Cole. They moved on from Philip Dorsett, moved on from Cam Sims, and this team is keeping six wide receivers. Devontae Adams, number nine. Jacoby Myers, number 10. Hunter Renfro, 11. DeAndre Carter, 12. Trey Tucker, 13. Christian Wilkerson, former Patriots wide receiver, also showed out, had some connection there with Aiden O'Connell. He's going to come in at number 14 on this list. So this team is keeping six wide receivers. Let's now look at the tight ends. At number 15, Austin Hooper. At 16, it's Michael Mayer. And then at number 17, Jesper Horstead. So it was expected that the Raiders were going to keep three tight ends. They end up keeping three tight ends on this roster. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, I appreciate every one of y'all. I was posting a lot of updates today on Twitter, on Instagram, and if you don't already know, heck, get with the program. You can always follow me on IG and on Twitter, at MitchellRens365. So I'll go to the offensive lineman because this is the position group that I'm surprised by the most, and I would have had this video out probably five minutes ago, but I had to double, triple check. Like, I'm still kind of like looking at this list, and I'm like, Am I missing a name? What am I doing wrong here? Because the Raiders are keeping only seven offensive linemen. Colton Miller at left tackle. Dylan Parham at left guard. At center, it's Andre James. Right guard's going to be Greg Van Roten. Right tackle, Jermaine Illuminor. And then the only backups that this team decided to keep, Thayer Munford and Justin Huron. I know I was hoping to get McLennan Curtis on this team. They waived him. Definitely going to be a player to keep an eye on coming back here to this roster. Natane Moody. Didn't end up making it, which I thought was surprising. And then they also put 
just so I get this 100% correct, Dalton Wagner on the reserve slash injured list, which definitely stinks for that young man there, considering the fact that I was hoping he could show out. Alex Bars, though, also a player that did not make this team. So seven offensive linemen made the 53-man roster. That tells me that they're hoping that a few of these other players can come back to them on the practice squad, clear waivers tomorrow, and keep in mind that it's going to be 11 o'clock our time, so noon Eastern time is when a lot of those moves will start to circulate, and we'll get you guys some updates, and Chugs and I will get you a video hoping to get you one before 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So seven offensive linemen, so that means Colton Miller was 18, Dylan Parham was 19, Andre James 20, Greg Van Roten 21, Jermaine Illuminor 22, Thayer Munford 23, Justin Huron comes in here at number 24. Now let's translate to the defensive side of the football where this organization decided to keep only, and again, only four defensive ends. And not that I'm too blown away by their decisions. It's more just, I like the fact that they kept a certain guy. They're going to go with Max Crosby at number 25, Chandler Jones at 26, 27 is Tyree Wilson. And I know this is going to make a lot of Raider fans happy out there because Malcolm Kuntz has been playing pretty solid football. Nobody knew if he was going to make this team. A lot of people thought that the Raiders are going to move on from him and his buddy, Amik Robertson. We'll talk about him in just a second. But the Raiders kept four defensive ends, and those are your guys. Let's now go to the defensive tackle room, and they're going to keep six. I know I told a lot of people months ago that the Raiders were going to move on from Matthew Butler. Some people laughed at me, but I got my sources too, and they, in fact, did so. The six defensive tackles that this team is keeping on the roster, Bilal Nichols is number 29, Jerry Tillery at number 30, Byron Young at number 31, John Jenkins, the veteran at 32, Nesta Jade Silvera, good for my guy right there, number 33, and then Adam Butler stumbles in here at 34. If you don't know, hey man, get with the program. I'm getting a Raiders tattoo on Thursday and on Friday, getting my whole leg sleeve covered. It's my homage to uh, Oakland when I became a Raider fan. It's going to be sick. I'll meet my tattoo artist tomorrow, but if you don't know, it's going to be 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific on Thursday and on Friday. Raiders tattoo live on the Raiders sport. Tons of special guests and some Raiders players are going to be there as well. All right, let's go now to the linebacker room and they kept five linebackers Robert Spillane number 36 Divine Diablo number 37 Amari Bernie comes in at number 38 Luke Masterson number 39 and then Curtis Bolton so good for this man right here special team shout out really athletic player show that he was able to get a little bit better in the coverage game this upcoming season for the silver and black so Curtis Bolton at number 40 so now or I counted wrong Robert Spillane is number 35, 36 is Divine Diablo, Amari Bernie is 37, Masterson is 38, Curtis Bolton is number 39. That's on me. So now let's go to the cornerbacks. And this was another group that I was waiting for them to put Brandon Face on, on the IR. They decided not to. But you know what? He is ending up making this official roster. And I told a lot of people he was going to make this team because of the money they gave him. It was forty or $1.9 million guaranteed this upcoming season. So the six corners that end up making this roster, Brandon Faison, number 40, Nate Hobbs at number 41, Marcus Peters, 42, Ja'Korian Bennett, 43, Amik Robertson, number 44, David Long Jr. comes in at 45, I am shocked that Duke Shelley did not make this team, but I'm only shocked because I had very high hopes for Shelley when the Raiders originally signed him. We got to call a spade a spade. Shelley did not play all that well in the preseason. They put him forth on the depth chart for a reason. Let's now go to the safety position. And one of the players that I was really curious to see if they were going to keep him or not was Roderick Teamer. And the fact that they decided to keep an extra safety, I think really outlines how much 4-2-5, how much of this nickel coverage that Patrick Graham is going to be running this season. So at 46, it's Roderick Teamer. 47, Trevon Merrig. 48, Marcus Epps. 49, Chris Smith. And at number 50, Isaiah Paul LaMeo, which means we're going to round this thing out with Daniel Carlson at 51 as your kicker. A.J. Cole at 52 as your punter. And then your long snapper is Jacob Bob and Moyer. That is officially your Las Vegas Raiders 2023 roster. What I want to know before I get the heck out of here is 
Who did the Raiders leave off their list? I know there's going to be tons of names. I am shocked that Justin Huron made this list. To me, that is the number one player that does not have any business whatsoever making this team. But it's McDaniel's decision. It's not my decision. Overall, who was the player that the Raiders left off their 53-man roster? For more videos around the Las Vegas Raiders, click the subscribe button right here. And then if you want even more content like, I don't know, me breaking down the Raiders trade for Neil Farrell Jr. or trading away Neil Farrell Jr., click that button right there. And then even more content around the silver and black. Let me show you why we're the number one Raiders show in the entire world. Over 140,000 subscribers. Videos every day. So click that subscribe button.